tarnished. Wait, wait, wait. What's I, happening? I bid you return to the lands between to seek the Elden Ring and claim the Realm of Shadow. We're back. The folks who made Dark Souls, that's their game. And there's a new DLC, which is a big, huge DLC. It is the size of most games. Is this the DLC? So well, this is all very exciting, but you kind of caught me in the middle of something. I was just trying to plant my sword in this chick's Elden Ring here well, on Snapchat. You so know, just give me a second, yes. here and we'll get to the game. Yes, video games. Shadows of the Erd Tree is the new DLC. Is the only DLC for Elden Ring. Now, wait, did you say something about a turd tree? Erd Tree. E R D, T R E E. Now, two years ago, I guess. Two and a half years ago, we okay. played Elden Ring. Okay. And we played, like, in this area here. Did we? As... I don't remember this at all. Now, right, this is... We, we played this this part of the map. Guess what? It's a lot bigger than that. Ooh. And so oh, I Jesus. spent the last wow. month and a half playing a lot of Elden Ring to get ready for the new DLC, which is over on this map here, which is the Realm of Shadow. And I played a bunch of this. Not that much, but, you know, enough. Whenever so, I think of realms and... Elden Rings, I just think of nerds. It's very much that kind of high fantasy... Sorry, you're probably yeah. a nerd watching this, but... But... I'm a nerd too, it's okay! What I've given you is a new, one of the new weapons in, 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 in the DLC, the anvil. <laughs> I knew it. A giant freaking anvil. Like I said. Yeah. It's very <laughs> much that. It's very much swords and, and sorcery and dragons and dungeons and, you know, that whole thing. So... What I'll tell you... Keep watching the ski. ...is that you have... Left bumper is your light chop. Give you a light chop. Right bumper is your heavy chop. Very importantly, left bumper. Blocking. You need to block things because they're going to hit you pretty hard. But this particular weapon, your magical attack, which is on left trigger, is spikes out of the ground. Huh. So... That uses part of your magic meter. I, I make sure to get you a pretty big health bar here up at the top. So oh, I can honestly go over here in my inventory and make it even larger with a rune arc. Be one of those. Oh, my allergies okay. pop off. Yeah. Now that. That was exciting. I'm going to head you in this direction here in a very small enclosed area. It's not going get to you, get you too much going on at one time. For a handful of enemies, which are some wolves. For you to go chop. I'm going to give you a chop. So, uh, don't hit that button. That was oh. your healing. Uh, I, I thought that was the chop no, button. No, right bumper. The bumpers are your chops. And Swings it too slow. Importantly, uh, right stick, when you click a stick, that, that will lock you on to the enemies. And the lock on is very important for when you want to chop he missed. Wow. Bro, the they swing so slow. Well, it's a giant anvil. Grow some strength if you're going to swing something big. Look, man. So, I assume this is going to how this is going to go, but, you know. <laughs> well, how do you think it was going to go any other way? I These guys die in one hit. Yeah, got I did, look. I did that much work to make sure you get them in one hit and you still, like, hit now hit X to heal up because, holy shit, you're going to need some. Drink it up. Get in, man. Here we go. Dune tune. You know what I would never do? What's that? Go in a cave. Yeah. Never. No, it's it's not a good thing. It's, it's, you don't want to go in a cave. It's just not. Which way? Uh, go left. Down into the depths. No. <laughs> to, to seek the Elden Ring. Nope. And whatever else. So, this DLC, we, we usually, on this channel, will not have a main episode just for DLC, but this thing is just so enormous we kind of had to. So, there you, there you go, yes, you figured it out. What did I do? You hit left trigger, which is your magic, which is the spikes. You spiked him. That's a bad dog, he spiked him too. <laughs> there. <laughs> spiked him. So people leave messages in the world that are occasionally useful and occasionally not very useful. I see. That's kind of the key here in the game, is that you, when you see a, a lot of them in a certain area, all right, that's, you know, perhaps something interesting. Now, the... The blood stains will, will show you what happened when, some, when some, so, so, someone died. So, touch the blood stain. When, when you're in an area and you see a, a lot of those, it's probably a bad area. Sure, I get that 
corpse. Oh, this is... So, get so, that corpse. How do I get that corpse? First of all, this is the trap. Because oh. we'll, we'll poke over a box, you're going to just gonna fall. It's fine. That's supposed to happen. Oh. Now... Pillaging remains. Yes. Hit Y to pillage and get... Hit it once. A Shadow Realm rune for leveling and whatnot. Okay. Alright, now... Now oh continue. Boy. Just this path of blood. Down the river of yes. blood. Continue. The streets will flow with the blood of the land believers. Exactly. Exactly. Because guess what? It's a bunch of guys in here. They're doing something. Don't want to know what. Bunch of big fat dudes doing something here in this blood river. It's not good. Uh, th that's a guy. I'm going to chop him. Perhaps, maybe. There you go. Spikes are out. So now you're auto spikes. So hit down on the D-pad. Down where all those guys were. So that's, that's, that's your goal is all those way. guys, yes. Into the blood orgy going on down here. So should I jump? I mean, you can, yeah. You're going to die, it's fine. It's, that's, you know. Hey guys! What's cracking down here? What's going on on his side? What's that? Where are my spikes? Yeah, it's, um... It's a lot, man. You're dead, it's fine. Blood loss. I'm dead already? So, yeah. Yeah. There's I like couldn't even see. a bunch of guys here. You died. It's, it's a problem. But, I kind of want to have, you know, a nice enclosed thing <laughs> before I get you into the open world. This is open, an open world game. Now, if you're wondering, which you, I, I know you aren't, but if you were, this DLC you can only get to at the end of the main game. And you're thinking, well, how do you go into a DLC having a whole lot of levels, right? right. And still have it be a hard game? Well, they added a different blessing here. So you gotta find these in the world to, to scale back up to where the enemies are. Because otherwise, you're gonna get your ass kicked. So basically, when you come into this... D DLC, the enemies scale to where you are when you enter the DLC. Mm -hmm. So if you're at, you know, level 100 or 200 or whatever, it's going to still be hard when you come in here until you find those things. And, all right, that makes it more easy. But that guy over there, give you a horse. Of course, of course. Now which way? Just go. It's open world, so just pick a direction and go. P.S. Everything's real bad here. It's all real bad. I think we're pretty rotten in the realm of shadow. Imagine that. So I'm going to that guy with the fire head. Sure. Yeah. I have not. I have not. Yeah. All right. So. How'd that happen? You click the stick, which is not run. B is run in this game. There you go. Usually it's click the stick. I know. And when I don't, not I'm like, in, how do I run? Like, it's a video game. Click the stick. Not in Elden Ring. It's not. It's just B to run, which uses your stamina to do that dang thing. <laughs> Well, I yeah. The horse died. It's happened. Oh sh! Look at this fire guy. What's going on? What's crack like? And oh no! Yeah, he's mad. Burn it down! F you. He seems upset by something. That dude is like, all right, stop. Have time. I have not even tried to like. I ran, I ran past him. I'm like, I'm good. Bye. I'll see you. <laughs> what the. F so, a big part of the Elden Ring, or I guess the, any, any of the Souls games experience, right, is the big bosses. Bro, like, a couple of times you told me to press the buttons, and I press the buttons, and I don't do the things you say they're going to do, but then when I do it again, then it does. Why does it do that? There's a portion of this <clears> game <throat> that does have uh, what's called animation pr uh, priority. Yeah. Where if you click chop three times, it doesn't matter if you, if you stop clicking, you're still going to hit. Three chops. Yes. So... No one to stop mashing the buttons, but I know you have an issue with is definitely a uh, a thing. There you go, spike them. That you have some poise, and he f***ed you up. So I can actually, die. yes, you die. Uh -huh. So I I can actually I can give you that hammer. Now the problem with this hammer is that the range is not, you know, it, it's it, it obviously it it will chop faster, but the actual like it'd be close to him to actually hit with it, right? But your magic for this one is you get actually, you hit the ground here, and you get beams of light that hit cuts. Oh, wow. Them up. That's weird. So go do that. And then we'll go past that and fight the boss. Because I keep just dying. Yeah, you know, that, that, that's this game, though. That's this whole game series. That's the people who started the whole Souls thing. This is that team. This is that studio. <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm going home. 
So what, what would I even do against this guy that's even effective? Anything? I mean, you can't chop him with your chopper. Da, da, da. That does that does work. But you know. I just went past. Did that work? No. It well yes again. I was on the horse and I just got past, just I needed a bee line and got past him because. Yeah, look, I did it. Yeah. Why? But he, he will definitely chase you. No, so. something, somebody just got me with something. Yeah, there's a an archer like right there. Oh, f- archer. Again, uh, oh no. One of the important things to have uh, for you in these games is locking because you have stamina to block things. Oh, I don't know how to block. Yeah, it's left bumper. Cold and just frostbite damage, Whoa. which is That's very really nice. Weird. Yeah, um, but it's very much. Walk softly and carry a big stick. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. It does some damage you, right? But you see there, in that fog there, mm-hmm. that's kind of the hippo. It's, he's kind of laying there. And so, what Elden Ring does is that I can summon help, and you need help. So, we're gonna say, hey man, right here, this guy here, Red Man, Summon Cooperator. And this guy over here, here we go, and Horn Scent. Get in here, horny. Mm-hmm. Right now, we're summoning the AI, but, mm-hmm. you, but you can summon other players that are, you know, on the internet, which is very helpful for these games. Right. So, we have our two guys, uh, and I'm going to say head in a forward direction, and you're getting ready to die. So... So that guy's my helper. Yes. Okay. And now we're going to fight the Golden Hippo. Yes. I'm not touching the blood stain. Hey, guy! Oh, Jesus. Again. Doesn't look gold. Clicking the right stick, he just... Clicking the right stick is your lock on, which is important when fighting Wait, a boss. the right stick. So, there. Now, now you're locked on. Now, they will chop him and help you, and your goal here is to not die. He looks like an alligator with a rhinoceros face. Well, look at that. I'm going to hit down and then heal up, because uh, X. X to heal. X to heal. They're helping you here with this. Yeah, I'll just the let them button. do it. Yeah. I mean, look, he has a big health bar there, so... What the hell is that? Our shadow's jumping out at me. Oh, that's someone else on the internet who's playing at the same time as you, and... I think a hard time. Is he getting chops in? Yeah. Is he helping us? No. Oh. But he's also playing the same scene? Yes. How does that even work? It's the internet, man. It's weird. So, the problem that you're gonna have is that when your guys here die, <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. I think I'm doing a real good job last week. You told me not to die. That was yes, that was our mission. Don't die. I'm trying. So, Horn Scent here is not gonna... He's not gonna make it. Pretty much. Ooh, I'm chopping it. Yeah. Now, here comes the gold! Oh, uh, Yeah. This is like phase two. Ah. Oh, and, yeah, he has... got more power. Uh-huh. And you're dead. I died? Yep. I just had a ton of power. Horn Scent died, you died, and your other guy... Alright, we all got eaten by the golden rhinoceros. Yes, the hippo. There are different helpers you can get that are, you know, either guys or wolves or jellyfish, right? The one that is the most useful is the mimic. It makes your character as a second player. Oh, wow. And it has all your gear and all your levels. So it does, you know, a lot of damage that way. So, what we're going to do here is get this guy here and then say, alright, come right in here. And then get in my mimic, like that. And then dodge, dodge. I so ate me. I was dodging. All right. Here we go. No. Come on, man. <laughs> so I did way better than you did. What they've done in this DLC, right, is that that was a great strategy for all the bosses in the regular game. They're like, well, everyone's just going in and immediately having their guy help them out. Let's have all the bosses immediately come rush them to f*** them up. Eh. So, the strategy now is to walk in, wait till he's distracted, and then summon. First of all, lock on. And then f***ing run away. Uh, like that. Okay, And then so. he just went into that solid steel. The Bro. solid steel entrance stay. As soon as he's just f- Yes, distract. Now we summon the mimic. Okay. We got a good helper, and we should be in much better shape to fight this guy. Mimic tear. Yeah. And it just does everything you do? Yes. But from afar? Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. So he does my same stuff with, with, with the ice and the blood damage, and yeah. It's good. 
But he gets it close? Yes. And actually registers damage. Yes. It's it's very cheap, right? But it's, <laughs> but it's a very hard game. So you know what? Yeah. Every thing I, I can do to survive this game. Because the deck is stacked against you. Right. And certainly, there are people who will say, Oh, well, if you don't do it solo, you're not pl playing it right. If the game gives me the tools, I'm right. doing it. That's why I always play games on easy mode. Why would I bother playing it on anything hard? Ooh, you're not playing it right. I don't care. Yeah. And here comes the gold. The point oh. is to enjoy my game. Come enjoy up. a game when it's easy. Come up. Come up. Uh-oh. Run! If you enjoy a challenge, play on hard. Yes. I don't. Ha. Tap my health. <laughs> Heal up. There you go. Alright. Firecracker. I like when it becomes a porcupine. Yes. Why? Who knows? He's a golden hippopotamus porcupine. Alright. Oh, he's starting to get bloody. Ice. Ice. That's fine. We're doing okay. Almost. Oh, sh That's a problem. Whoa. Yeah, knowing. Dude, all your power just no went away. Knowing when. <laughs> I die. God. <laughs> knowing when and where to dodge. Very important in these games. So. You died. We're going to show you one more thing here in, in the Elven Ramp. We're going to head way down here. Actually, I got everything here except for this part of the map right here. I haven't got this part yet. But way down here to the depths. I'm under the ground, I'm in the deep, deep, dark, dank. I got here, and usually th this thing here is what lets you summon other players. Okay. And usually that's right in front of the boss door. Okay. So I'm assuming that's walking up here, there. there's gonna be a boss. But if there aren't any summon signs to summon, then I've got a problem. Those white things, huh? No, that's not, that's just a message. Oh. First off, Edge, where, <laughs> on this day. <laughs> I see uh, clearly. What's going on? We're running into certain doom. Up here. It's over today. Um, no boss? Push that guy off the cliff. It's a ghost. Hey, baby, he was already pushed off the cliff. I thought, bro, I'm confused now. Hold on. What does it say up here? Why is it always jumping? <laughs> Why is it always jumping? Uh, I think they want us to jump. Do oh. it. So okay. normally you would die at this point, but this is part of the story, then we kind of have to. <laughs> so, oh, son. Oh, you went deep. This is a boss Damn, arena, I can already man, tell. Man. Why do I hear Judgment Day's music starting to play? Vicious of Dragon. Try jumping. Da, da, da. I did. Damien Priest rises out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Um, there it is. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. I knew it was Judgment Day. Man, that's... Hi, hello. Oh. What the f*** are you... Have you seen this yet? No, I have not. Jesus Christ. Good night. You're about to die. Oh, look, now he's on a dead horse. And I can't summon in here, so... Oh, this is cool. It could he's be like... The, he's the pubescent knight. Putrescent, but yes. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to dodge when it's all muck. Yeah, you don't know what's happening. Oof. Oof. Get frosty. No. 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 I don't want any of this. I'm gonna die. There he is. <laughs> yeah. There it is. That's, um... Yeah, so not every boss is mandatory. There are a bunch of ones that are optional. Why would and you do it optionally? To get more levels, man. Yeah. To get more to get more stuff. Uh, Stone cold fissure. So I came all the way down here for that. And so, we have revisited the, the lands between. We've gone to the realm of shadow in the Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC. Boring. I am 85 hours deep now into this game. Oh my god. And I, 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 need, I need to finish it. I need to be, be done. That's like, that's beyond balls deep. That's putting your balls in too, bro. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. So I, I'm looking forward to, be, to, be, to being done. And then, all right, I'll see you in a couple years there from software. How many asses do you get this DLC? Two asses down. It's too hard. Well, yes. Looks cool. It's made to be hard, and people who like that, they like that. For you, not, the, not as much. I'm also made to be hard.
<laughs> Anyhow, next week, get your balls ready, because Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble is the game. Next we week. are ready for the Super Monkey Balls. We got banana and ball slug. Yes, we're ready to go here for the game. And Let's we'll, do this! We'll see you then. We'll see you here. Something to be said to him. And we're out.